Here are two built-in ways to crop a photo in macOS, one using Preview and one using the Photos application. I'll start with Preview. So first, right-click or hold Control and click on the picture you would like to crop and select Open with Preview. Then, navigate to the View menu in the top left of the desktop and select Show Markup Toolbar from the dropdown. You will now see a toolbar appear at the top of the preview window, but it's missing a crop option. When you hover over the picture, you will notice that the cursor changes to a crosshair. Click and drag to outline the space you would like to crop, and then you will see a small crop symbol appear in the toolbar. Click on the symbol and preview will crop your selection. Then, navigate to the file menu in the top left and select save from the dropdown. Your picture is now saved as the new version, and next time you open it, you will see the cropped version. Keep in mind, as long as your picture is stored on your Mac, you can revert it back to the original since Preview stores your edits. To do this, navigate to the File menu and select Revert to Previous Save or Browse All Versions if you've made multiple crops or edits. The second method to crop a photo is in the Photos application. If you use Photos to store your pictures, then this might be a better option for you. To get started, launch the Photos application, then select the photo you would like to crop. Since this is a demo, I only have one photo in my library. Then, click on Edit in the top right of the window, select the Crop tab at the top of the window, and click and drag the outline to adjust the desired crop. When you've made your adjustments, then click the Done button in the top right of the window. Just like Preview, you can always revert the picture to the original. To do this, click on the Edit button again, select the Crop tab, and then click on the Reset button in the lower right. Your picture will then revert to the original. Finally, click Done in the top right and you're all set. If you found this helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Also, leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks.